right, well, thanks everybody for, uh, for being here today. We are uh, incredibly proud of the uh, work we've been able to accomplish in the, uh, the first part of session here. We started the session uh, promising Missourians a better way with a bold, aggressive agenda that would tackle some of the state's toughest challenges. We've had a roadmap of common sense solutions to try to bring prosperity to all Missourians, to fight for our freedoms, to embrace the gift of life and protect vulnerable Missourians. It's been our mission, and I think we've seized the opportunity to make Missouri one of the most competitive economic environments you can find anywhere in the country. Since last March, we've outpaced the nation in job growth. Missouri's unemployment rate is the lowest it's been in 17 years, and we have manufacturing jobs across the state that we didn't have a year ago. Our economy is strong, and our future outlook is the best in the Midwest. We are seeing the fruits of that agenda, as in the last two weeks alone, companies in Missouri have announced 2,800 new jobs. We've done that by investing in our infrastructure, by focusing on labor reform, updating our litigation policies, regulatory reform, and we've also uh, had tremendous success on updating uh, our workforce development and our education policies. We've got a lot of work left to do in the session. Uh, the Speaker Pro Tem has uh, been advancing a comprehensive tax reform proposal that we intend to start on next uh, when we get back from the break. Uh, and we also have important measures uh, moving forward uh, on education that we intend to uh, come back to. In addition, I'm incredibly proud of the work of our budget chairman and all of the members of the budget committee on both sides of the aisle who uh, worked tirelessly over the last several weeks uh, to get the budget to a point where it can be brought up on the floor uh, when we get back. It's a budget that is balanced, it's a budget that fully funds the education formula, and it's a budget that restores deep cuts to higher education. Uh, so with that, I will be happy to take uh, any questions. Yeah, I think it is a concern. We have an ethics commission for a reason and it needs to be uh, a functioning body. Well, the House has passed 158 pieces of legislation this year at the midway point, which is, uh, I believe, a record. And I think we've passed substantive, meaningful legislation in nearly every major policy area that we set out to at the beginning of session. And we also, this year, have had one of the most cooperative and the best working relationships we've had with the Missouri Senate in a long time. You saw the Senate uh, work some long hours last night to move forward with House priorities. So, uh, I don't think it's been a distraction that's prevented us from doing the things that the people of Missouri sent us here to do. What about the speed that we've moved with the agriculture? What about the budget process? Yeah, I, look, the budget uh, is always a work in progress until it's truly agreed and sent to the governor's desk. Uh, I know the, the budget chairman and his members will be working on that process, um, but it's not a final product yet. We'll have to see. It's something that uh, we wanted to make sure we had the ability to have a discussion about as, as session moves on, and that's why you saw some pieces uh, of legislation filed near the end of filing deadline, but we haven't made any decisions on those yet. Do you feel like the administration and the second floor is engaged with the legislature at this point? I think our, our members uh, continue to meet with members of the executive branch and department heads and trying to work with their subject matter experts to make sure our policy ends up uh, in a good spot. Yes, sir. Uh, pro Tem already mentioned his tax reform bill. It does include money for deteriorated roads and bridges. His bill goes for increasing the driver's license fee. The Corlew, the Rybolt bill, increases the gas tax. Any sense of how the caucus thinks about that? Look, it's, it's certainly a subject we're going to come back to when we get back from the break. Obviously, I think the, the one thing that you do see that's consistent uh, within the caucus is a desire to have more funding for our transportation infrastructure. Um, We'll continue to have the discussions about the different ways uh, that we can achieve that, and I'm hopeful that by the end of the session we'll have settled on a solution. You said education is something you're going to focus on next? We, we have and we'll, we'll, we'll continue to. The Senate uh, sent us their uh, version of our higher ed degree offering, excuse me, our version with, with some amendments um, of the higher ed degree offering bill last night. We'll get back to that. We've also got proposals on uh, charter school and education reform that we intend uh, to look at when we get back. Thank you all very much.